and welcome again, dear listeners, to my section on the 36 channels. And today we come to the third and last of the so-called social channels where the theme of aloneness plays a most important role in the development and in the empowerment in this case of the individual spirit. Now again, um, I want you to remember what I've shown you in the in the previous videos how you know the, th the three social channels have done so much good in regulating the, the, the power of fertility in, in humankind as to being able to develop as a species and develop global institutions. And, but, you know, one needs to see how much that has been at the, at the expense of uh, so much emotional and sexual repression historically and traditionally. You know, I mean, stories like Romeo and Julia, um, you know, all kinds of um, stories about love, where love gets mixed with death and killing, whether it's killing oneself, where, you know, because this is, the 1222 is part of the stream of passion, the stream of emoting, you know, and in the mechanics of human sexuality, that um, this is keynoted, the stream of passion. And passion, well, you know, passion is deeply individual in the sense that when you look at these people from the outside, you wouldn't necessarily guess how passionate they can be because after all, this is the the only so social the only social channel that is a manifester channel and you see the, for the manifester everybody is a stranger you know the manifester himself is an outsider you know he's open to strangers but only within caution you know without losing its foot, without losing its, its position, without compromising its own individual pathway. You know, that's why the 36, 35, you know, ends up being, you know, uh, perceived as a potential threat, as a potential destabilizing force, as a force that brings chaos. Now, in the 1222, we have a rather civilized emotional manifester and here we need to recall that this stream of emoting that you know this stream as part of the knowing circuit that has the channel of mutation as a format that this is where the most important mutations in the cognitive orientation of our species have taken place the first one about a hundred thousand years ago, when the larynx of, 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 of a whole minute mutated and we lost the ability to breathe and drink at the same time, and instead our vocal chamber opened up and we became capable to articulate sound. It is said that in the beginning was the word, in the beginning was sound. And, um, well, together with that word, the emergence of humanity's mental system and the development of the strategic intelligence of Homo sapiens, of what Ra would, not long ago, from an evolutionary perspective, called the killer monkey, you know? Because, after all, this ability to be the best killers in, in nature is what enabled us to climb rather fast to the top of the food chain. And, uh, well, we developed all kinds of knowledge and tools and stuff until, in 1781, the discovery of Uranus 
broke a crack in the walls of the reality of Homo sapiens and Homo sapiens became aware of how much of its pretended knowledge, you know, was basically just based on dogmas, you know, and the emergence of Uranus obliged, you know, all scientific statements to be reviewed. In other words, that... In